It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! Ooh. Here we are. What's going on? I'm Scott. <laughs> and I'm Bill. And this is the, the Bill, Bill and Scott Cubicle, Cubicle Show. Show. At the number 64. <laughs> Excuse we me. We are here. What a time to be alive. Oh, man. And what a time for... What? Pop culture news. Oh. Yeah. Today is a slow, very, very <laughs> yeah, slow is. day. So let's just jump into it and get get to the getting let's, while the getting is getting. Let's wade into it as though we're testing the water. We're going to take it Should slow. we start off with some celebrations? Yes. Let's talk about some celebrations. First, we fail to uh, wish the young, the young gun, Asad Tuck Khaled, a happy first birthday yesterday. He turned one yesterday. Tuck. Tuck. His middle name was Tuck. You know, they get tucked in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here's here's DJ Khaled's son, Assad. In this first year of life, right? He's uh he's already been the executive producer of the Platinum Selling album, Grateful. He's been to many award shows. He gets to hang out with like every star. They're all just like all over him. That reminds me of when he's he's living a life. I mean, he's got a better first year of life than I have in like thirty, almost thirty <laughs> years. Yeah, but at least you're self aware. He still doesn't even know he's alive yet. When he knows he's alive, he's gonna be he's in for it. But it reminds me of when um Blue Ivy Carter was like the youngest person to ever hit a certain uh point on a chart. Track, yeah. yeah, because she her like her cry was featured on that one Jay Z track. Mm -hmm. That's dumb. That shouldn't be a thing. Assad should not be an executive producer of an album when he's a few months old. And he shouldn't be wearing freaking $250 shoes. What are you doing? And his father got him a watch for his birthday that he probably can't wear for probably like not. another eight years. Unless it's a How baby watch. How much money do you think he spent on that watch? Um, $10,000. Put a few more zeros on Really? It. Yeah. A $100,000 watch. Oh, my God. I don't know what kind of watch it was, but it's being reported he got him a $100,000 watch. I mean, that's probably mad heavy, so I, I'm going to say he's got to be at least 10 before he could probably wear that. I hope it's teething proof. <laughs> oh, boom. And then another birthday today, the, the greatest poet of all time, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> See, I already knew, I, knew, I knew the answer to that one. So I, <laughs> I frequently have said J Drake is the greatest poet of all time. I don't have any opinion on that because I'm, uh, I'm not a fan of poetry. So, but and if Drake I is were, the best of if, all uh, time. you know what, let's, if I, I think I might have to go with somebody like Silento. Okay. Remember how him? old do you think? Yeah, I do. Where'd he go? Um, <laughs> to college. He was like, you know what? I had one monster hit. I'm going to bank that money and go to college. That's smart. smart. It is smart. You're smart. DJ Cal. Um, how old do you think Drake is? I think Drake is 31 years old. He is 31 <laughs> years old. Because <laughs> I know he's like a, just a few days older than I am. Yeah. Um, a little bit more than a week, I guess. My birthday's next week. Yeah, our birthdays are coming up. My birthday's this Saturday, then Bill's is this upcoming Thursday. Yep. Wow, look at that. Scorpio season, kids. We are here. Uh, do, you, do you care about horoscopes? Not particularly. I don't really put much stock in that because the thing about when you're looking at a horoscope, it's always so vague that it could apply to anyone in, like, any circumstance. You look at a horoscope and you'll be like, oh, today, you know, think – Something is going to happen to you that's going to show you the direction you need to go in, and you're like, "Oh my god!" And you get to the you get to the store, and somebody holds the door open for you, and you're like, "Oh my god, my horoscope! This they're showing me the direction that I need to go." You believe horoscopes or fortune cookie fortunes more? Fortune cookie fortunes for sure. Because you get to eat them too. Like it's okay. delicious those cookies. We're I gonna will say that we're gonna run it back to 2006 when the night before I left for college. Uh, for my junior year of college, um, we went to a Chinese buffet. I got a fortune cookie. I cracked that bad boy open, um, and it, inside it said, someone will be sharing your warmth tonight. Guess what I did that night? What? I, I kissed a girl for the first time at the ripe old age of 19. So it's true. Proud young man here. Shout out those fortune cookies. Send a box over so we can start I'm a opening them. Yeah, I got started young. Pimp, pimp daddy, pimp daddy Billy. Um, so speaking of 2006. Yes, see, thank you. I'm glad you did that segue. This is a momentous day in history. 11 years ago today. The greatest album of all time. 
was released. That's what he says. But uh, what album is that? Then we'll go into the other thing. Because I know you the want Black to shout Parade him out. The Black Parade. My who? Chemical Romance. October 24, 2006. In fact, it was a Tuesday. It's the same calendar cycle as this year because that was back when album release day was on a Tuesday. And what other two albums came out on that day? All right, so the main one. No, before the main one, just to throw him out there, his name. The singer. John Legend? Yes, John Legend released an album on that day. But what's the main one that came out? The main one, Taylor Swift's debut album. Wow. Now, we got to be careful here because this is everybody's darling Taylor Swift. Yeah. But her first album came out October 24, 2006, and sold 40,000 copies in its first week. And then, if you fast forward like 12 years when she puts out her last album, um, uh, 1989 and 2014. Eight years. Yeah. <laughs> 12 years would be next year. Yeah, did I say 12 years? Mm -hmm. Well, either way, you get what I'm saying. So you fast forward to her latest album, that sells like... Uh, 1.28 1. 1. million copies. So think about that growth week. in like about a, less than a decade. She's in eight years... She was able to – shoot, I should have done the math on this. Hold on. Give me – buy me some time real quick while I pull up my calculator. And while he's doing so the math and everything, um, we're also going to get into how many bedrooms Taylor Swift has because I guess that's a, a new 32, story. 30, that can't be right. What are you trying to do? You're trying to figure out the percentage? Yeah. It's oh, like, no, it is. That's 30 – it's an improvement of 30, 32 times – 32 times better. So basically 332. Yeah, so – Yeah, uh, 1.28 million divided by 40,000 is 32. Okay. That's the answer. <laughs> there you go. There's your math. And what's this thing going on with Taylor Swift and bedrooms? Why are people All right, talking so about her bedroom? E! Online decided it would be a good idea to put together um, like a breakdown of her property holdings. She's worth 280 million bucks. That's it? 27 years old. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's like a third of a billion dollars almost. We're 50 million shy of a third of a billion. Um, excuse me. $71 million of that is tied up in real estate. So that means her other assets are worth like 210 ish million dollars. Um, either that or she just has a ton of cash in the bank. Obviously, he's prepared with his math and adding and subtracting right. and dividing and multiplication now, but not a few seconds ago. Well, I didn't think There's about There's Jacob. So she owns seven residencies all across the country. So they calculated that she has 46,864 total square feet at her disposal. With 39 bedrooms, 43 and a half bathrooms, 21 fireplaces, five pools, five bars, two tennis courts, and one ocean view at her vacation home in Rhode Island. All right, so I tell you, I got three takeaways from all that, what you just said. Number one, do you think she's actually slept in every single bedroom? Oh, dang, 43. I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, number two, do you think she's used every single one of her bathrooms properly? I would hope so. Because when you got that, I mean, you got to christen them all, right? You know, like that's the first thing. The first time you take a poop in a new bathroom, it's like that's the crowning moment. And number three, she only has one beachfront. I guess she, so. That's it. One of them is like in her apartment in New York City. A couple of them are one of them, two of them are penthouses. The goddess Taylor Swift only has one. I guess she only needs one. That oceanside view in Rhode Island is enough. Damn, that's kind of a disappointment right there. I would have thought she would have more than that. So she's still trying to just live that basic normal life, it sounds like, then, you know, all those houses, normal life. Um, and then the big other controversy lately has been the NFL and the Super Bowl and all the that halftime show. going on with the halftime show. We, we told you yesterday that Justin Timberlake was announced as the performer at this year's uh, halftime show. And a lot of people have been, you know, speculating that Janet Jackson has been banned forever. She'll never be able to perform with the NFL again. Well, was it the NFL that came out? Yes. The NFL addressed, there have been a bunch of rumors about Janet Jackson, naturally. Um, the NFL did specifically address the claim that she has been banned. They said she is not banned. She has never been banned. So to me, that says she's probably going to be there. Uh, However, they did also, this is another quote, we're not going to comment on any speculation regarding potential guests. There may be no guests. We have no clue. Well, first of all, Justin Timberlake needs guests, I, I feel. He definitely needs them. And I, I don't, I, do we care about an NSYNC reunion? I mean, that is that would be even cool. cool to happen? I, yeah, I think that would be fun. Come out, do bye 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 because, or gone or something like that. Yeah, because as I said, I think yesterday, NSYNC was part of the greatest Super Bowl halftime show of all time. 
Aerosync in, in 2001. Um, Super Bowl 35, I believe. Now, what I really think here is that the NFL purposely came out and said this because they know that there's a lot of issues with the NFL right now Thanks, and Jake. people tuning in and watching. So what they're like is Uh-oh. like, so what they say is like, hey, we don't know if she's performing, but she might be performing basically is what they said in that statement. Breaking news. What? Janet Jackson, tour conflicts with Super Bowl. She won't likely join Justin Timberlake for the halftime show because uh, she's going to be out of the country during the Super Bowl weekend, February 4th. That or, doesn't mean she can't fly back in. Is this a conspiracy? Is this a cover-up? Is this the Illuminati at work? Did she even have a child at 15 well, years old? Can we pretend that, that didn't, you didn't just read that so I can like, say yeah, my ahead. conspiracy? Go ahead. Um, so... It don't even matter anymore. I'm just going to move on, actually. Actually, here, at the end of this article, uh, they said one way to piss off the NFL again is for Justin to bring back in a box. We were talking about, about yesterday. yesterday. Pretty much what I was going to say is that I think that the NFL is basically saying, is she going to be there? Is she not going to be there? In hopes that people are going to tune in because they've been having viewer problems. So they're hoping to get people to tune in because they don't want to miss a moment. Are you asking so, me? If, no, I just say you, I you think, think that the NFL, that's what they're going to do. They're going to milk it. Because oh, yeah, they, yeah. they have an issue with people tuning in right now, so they're trying to make sure. Do they, they have an those... issue with people tuning into the Super Bowl, though? I know they have an issue with regular season, but the Super well, Bowl, that's like a well, cultural it, event. But if people are tuning out throughout the regular season, there's a chance that they're not going to tune in for the— and That's true. You know what I mean? That's fair. Like, So is it still going to hit probably 80 million people tuning in? Yeah, but— it could be down, though. That's true. And I think that the NFL's in a rough spot right now. About time for... Uh, shake things up. Shake T- things up. Take things off. And uh, so there's been a lot of talk lately about performers getting groped and grabbed while they're performing on stage. We could go back to, like, uh, Kevin Gates got in trouble because he, he, he kicked, kicked that girl, girl for allegedly face. grabbing him in his groin area. <laughs> the um, groin area. Oh my god, such good content. Oh god. I know, it's a horrible show. So we should just end it. I'm just kidding. Yo, <laughs> I well, don't think it's that bad, actually. I was just about to make a very off-color joke and I stopped myself. Good. Because I forgot that we were Facebook live streaming for a second. But anyways... um. So, yeah, so then there was Joe Jonas. Was it Joe or was it Nick? Who did what? That was just talking – or who was that that was just uh, – Got groped? Was, yeah, it was Kareem um, who said something about well, it. Well, no, it was it, Harry Styles. Harry Styles. Got there we go. Joe Jonas, Jonas, Harry Styles, Khalid same thing. how he felt about it. I don't know why. I think I just ran into him in the airport. And they were like, uh, hey, you're famous. You're a singer. How do you feel about getting groped? And to nobody's surprise, he was like, don't do that. It's disrespectful. So, I mean – it's really something – it's kind of a non-story. Like, I mean, he, but the story the, – the meat of the story was that that it used to be kind of the norm. You know, like rock stars or pop stars would be up in the front of the stage, like, and, and people would be trying to grab whatever they could, and they would be cool with that. But nowadays, it's like you don't, you don't do that. And the perspective that I come from is that when you're a celebrity, you give up a certain degree of privacy because, you know, you're being paid millions of dollars to live this lifestyle. So we get to watch it, and we get to talk about it. But you don't touch. You don't touch. Yeah, you're, their you're not giving up your. Uh, you don't. You don't get to. You know, put, lay hands on them. Yeah, that's a little messed up. Yeah. Um, I do see some people on Twitter being like, "Oh, you're a performer, so uh, get over it." Blah blah blah. But listen, I think, sexual harassment, sexual right. harassment. When it comes to criticism, you. I think that's valid. You have to. You have to be able to withstand that to be a performer. But you don't have to let people touch you nuts. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's right. Right. At all. Guy, girl. Anything like right. that. Yeah, or yeah, you, or you nuts, you boobies, whatever, your naughty bits. Yeah, do not, do not hands touch off. other people. You keep off your hands to yourself. Khalid did say he likes hugs, though. He was like, oh. you're going to give me a hug? That's cool. Oh. So if you ever meet Khalid, if you ever So jump row, up. Uh, yeah, so it's, <laughs> I don't know like, if I would recommend jumping up on the stage. They, security doesn't tend to take kindly to that kind of thing. You might be getting tackled to the ground. Oh, wow, I think a meeting just got, it got loud it's, in here all the time. It sounds like there's a lot more energy in the office than yeah. there was. This is exactly what the show was lacking before. Some energy. Yeah. But it wasn't the greatest day of news stories. We even really. told you that in the beginning. We started with birthdays. <laughs> yeah, geez. Wow, that's like... That's how you know you're scraping the. Uh, the That's a of the throwback barrel. to 15 minutes ago, <laughs> and we talked about throwbacks in this so episode. If you if you've been with us for this entire TBT episode, Throwback Tuesday, thanks. 
because you're you're the real hero. You're a patriot. You are. Um, and you know what? I would gladly stand to respect you in front of the flag, my friend. You ready? I, I saw this tweet yesterday. Hang on. Now, see, now the good, now the content. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I here saw the is. tweet. This tweet yesterday was like, my favorite thing to do is go into public bathrooms and play the national anthem so everyone has to stand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now we can close the show but, out. But what if somebody has to poop? Exactly, that's the that's, that's the point. point. Oh, what's the joke again? I, I, my favorite thing to do is go to public bathrooms and play the national anthem, so everyone has to stand. Yeah, they gotta stand up. I'm not standing. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah, uh, tomorrow. All right, so we're here Monday through Thursday, 1030 Eastern time. Hopefully there's some topics. Hopefully somebody gets arrested or somebody breaks <laughs> so, into something. something happens. <laughs> Just like something happened out there. Somebody falls off a stage. Like <laughs> Somebody accuses happen. something of somebody. Just let something happen today. Something will happen in like the next 15, 20 minutes. Oh, my God. We'll be like, why didn't this happen 15, 20 minutes Thank God ago? I got like 20 giveaways this afternoon. For real. All right, uh, so. 1030 Eastern time because that's the only time zone that matters. So if you're uh, not in this time zone. Thanks for watching, but also suck it because your time zone sucks. We're going to have to get our PR person to clean that one up tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye. One. Cubicle show. Cubicle show. Cubicle show. Cubicle show! That's what I'm talking about, boy! You know Scott Cubicle show? Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Not a rectangle show. Not a triangle show. Not a pyramid show. It's a cubicle show. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we just got one boy.